The Marcy Chandelier, Part 3, Fabricating and Assembling the Chandelier Body. In previous episodes, Part 1, I started out by showing how to do the hot forging of tube steel. Then, in Part 2, I went into hot forging the actual leaves and forge welding them together, assembling one component. Now, in this section, I'm going to come back and using these leaves and the tube steel arms, I'll be welding those together and doing the rest of the chandelier, showing you everything that needs to be done to put together the main body of the chandelier. So here we are cutting off these individual sections and they will be attached to one single arm of the chandelier. Uh, you have to be really careful in doing this work because the welding is you're welding to a very thick member uh, and the other side is a very thin member, the tube steel. I like leaving in to about an eighth of an inch gap um, before I fill in the welds. That way I'm sure that I get a complete penetration. After doing all of the welding, then I come back and actually grind away uh, with a heavy hard rock grinder, the very top layer, making sure that I don't do any kind of undercuts. Then I come back with a flapper wheel and actually refine my uh, grind mark so it's nice and blended. Now comes the part where the real blending takes place. I come in and using an oxyacetylene torch, I heat up the section to a very um, orange heat. Uh, making sure that I heat everything up and that basically forms a scale and blends everything. Now, the thing that is the most important of all is doing this wire wheel brushing because what we're doing is removing all of the oxide scale that has been done during the forging operations. That has to be removed otherwise you're not going to get a really pretty finish and I'll tell you more about the finishing later on. Okay, moving right along, I'm going to weld the chandelier arms to the center housing, which is going to hold all the electronic components. Uh, this is basically accomplished using a MIG welder, and what I've done here is I'm using an acorn table, which has these little square blocks all through it that allow me to actually put pieces together and hold them down while I'm welding. The chandelier is actually upside down at this point, but it allows me to keep everything straight and level. So now I'm putting on the raised cover, but before I get carried away with that, let me show you how I did it. The following illustration comes from the book The Sheet Metal Pattern Drafting and Shop Problems by Daltrey Powell and Foster. Following this formula, I made two raised cover cones which fit over the center housing. The center housing section has a two inch width where all of the wiring comes in. You can see all the holes that are being drilled through here. And everything gets mounted inside of it. Uh, there's over 83 different fiber optic pieces that actually get put into place. The cones, the uh, very bottom cone is actually screwed into place that holds it into place. Uh, once this is all completed, now I turn the piece over to actually start on the next part and that is manufacturing all of the smaller channels that actually have little tiny fiber optics built into them. There are 24 separate half inch square pieces that actually receive fiber optics and then a small crystal on the end. What I've done is I've taken the half inch square and actually cut on the sides to create that leaf section that you see here. Now, the wire brushing, I can't stress enough. It has to be very well done. What we're doing here now is taking and drilling uh, another hole at the very end where the actual fiber optics piece is going to be coming out of. There's a little nub that will actually get placed in there that holds the fiber optics. On the very other end of these pieces, there is another hole that will be drilled in, in which will run the fiber optics through and uh, meet into the center housing. Uh, 
I'm also taking at the very end of it about a half inch back and cutting out a slot which will help me actually pull the wiring um, which is really a, a pretty complicated process but um, it's something that um, has to be done and it's just part of the part of this work. Doing all that work, I have a simple solution for finishing for interior work is to use uh, this WD-40. You can find it almost anywhere. And you just spray a little bit of that on there. You let it, uh, let it dry and it gives it a really nice protective coating. No, that's WD-40. 101 different uses. You need to get it. It's good stuff. After allowing the WD-40 to dry, I run some uh, rebar tie wire. It's a very soft wire through each of these pieces uh, so that I can later pull the fiber optics line. Here, again, you know, this is basically some MIG welding techniques. Uh, all the pieces have to be placed in, in the proper setting to line up the holes so that the wiring can be pulled. So what we're going to do now is take and start on the top part and I have to cut out a hole for hanging the chandelier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark out a hole where I'm going to cut this larger piece here and then cut that out. Once that's cut out, weld to the bottom of this the nut and there's going to be four pieces that are going to be like a half inch square that'll build a framework for all of this to weld to and then basically this piece will slide on top of that and once we come in and we screw this back in tighten it down it'll hold the substructure okay uh, using the cutoff wheel it's very thin. Um, this is what I'm going to use to actually come in and cut this outer circle out of. You have to be really careful doing this because you can mess up the blade or yourself or the cut if you're not careful. now is uh, take and grind it a little bit so that this guy comes in flush and we'll be able to weld that on there. Okay, so we're going to take now and attach on the inside skeletal I'm using these clamps. Basically, we're coming down to the large bolt and putting it on a mark that I have here and this will be welded onto the actual chandelier see a little more as I go along here. Realize that the skeletal frame is actually not welded to the cone. It is part of the actual chandelier and the cone will actually slide on top of it. You can see here where the skeletal piece is actually put on top of the chandelier. And what's really important here and the reason I'm using TIG welding is to get a really good bond to the chandelier. Remember, everything is going to be hanging off of that center screw. So once the piece is actually welded on, everything's assembled, here we go. You get a nice look and see how everything fits together. Part four of the Marcy Chandelier, I'll be going into hot forging copper tubing to form the shade holders for this chandelier. If you haven't seen the previous chapters and parts, uh, go to enrique.artmetal.com to get high resolution videos.